Hi, I'm Arlene Carlson, and this is a really close friend of mine, Nancy Bryan. She's a pharmacologist and a biochemist, but she's a very uh, backwards pharmacist is the best way to put it. She's very involved with uh, natural um, components that help the body do what it's supposed to do instead of forcing it with medications. Um, I met her some years ago through a different company at a mutual friend of ours had introduced us to a different all natural product that helped um, my kids who have autism and we got a lot of really good results out of that. Um, I've been involved with herbal remedies and different natural um, components, diet, what have you, for our kids with autism for almost 30 years. And I've had a lot of really positive results with it. But, however, you can't control everything with kids with autism and when they can't tell you what's going on, it makes it much more difficult. Uh, our daughter went through puberty and started becoming self-injurious. Um, I started studying and trying to figure out what was going on and couldn't figure it out. I knew that she was in pain, but because she couldn't tell us, we ended up having to make the difficult decision to put her on a medication. Um, she ended up balancing out and stopped the injurious behaviors, so we had her doing better. Um, I was still trying to figure out what was causing it in the first place, so I was still studying things and did find some natural things to help her with hormone balancing and, and that kind of thing. But because she was doing well, I was too afraid to take her off of medication. So fast forward four years later, uh, she started becoming self-injurious again. And I knew that something was wrong just because she was a very happy-go-lucky kid. She was not a naturally aggressive person. So after going through hospitals and doing test after test, we had found out that she had contracted gastritis from the medication she was on. So as time went on, a very short time, uh, it got to such a level that we were holding her down every 15 minutes to a half an hour for an hour and a half. This was around the clock. We were in a thousand percent crisis. I was at the point where um, I was being told that we had to put her in an inpatient facility or they were going to take legal action. And at that point, I was so frustrated, I found myself standing in the backyard yelling at God to do something. I was serious. And in that time, um, I all of a sudden got a phone call about three days later. And my good friend Nancy said, I've been thinking about you the last two days. And how's Adrian doing? I'm sure I just blubbered all over the phone. <laughs> and... Uh, I said, she said, you know, I've, I have something that I think I need to share with you. And so she came over to my house and she showed me this ABC primetime report and my jaw dropped and I thought, oh my gosh, I think this is it. And she handed me this blue bottle and she said, let's get your daughter on this right now. So we did. The product that she had me was called Pretandum. I'd never heard of it before. I understood natural herbs, but I'd never seen anything do what this does. Um, and I'll let Nancy explain this because uh, she's the expert at this. However, so we got our daughter on two of these a day, took her off her medication within three weeks, which is not heard of. And my doctor wasn't very happy, but I didn't care at that point. Um, in one month, our daughter's behaviors were 50% better. Within three months, she was back in school and there were no more behaviors. On top of that, she lost 20 pounds that she needed to lose. She became like alive. I don't know how to explain it. Her eyes lit up. She recognized her brother. She became a different person, not just not hurting herself anymore, but she was um, wide awake and recognizing the world around her. This was very different. Fast forward four years later now, she's now beginning to have conversation, which she has never had in her life. So I understand what this product does, but I could not in a million years even begin to explain what nutrigenomics are. And so I'm gonna hand it over to Nancy Bryan who can totally explain this. And thank God for Nancy Bryan and our lives are completely changed because of this. Oh, I think I better give you a hug. <laughs> thank you for sharing that story. Gosh, it brings tears to my eyes remembering those things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's interesting. Um, I went to school to take care of people. 
that was my background. I, I went to school thinking that I would probably become a doctor and through a story I won't go into, um, my path changed. I ended up becoming a pharmacist and a biochemist. I ended up becoming a formulator and doing a lot of work in terms of understanding the true chemistry of the body. And through that, being able to see the best means of really helping people. And so when I personally became familiar with this company called Life Vantage and a product by the name of ProTandem, it was through my own journey because of some issues I had personally. I had been through a breast cancer um, treatment and I had also been through melanoma. I was looking for answers for myself. When I had uh, been diagnosed with breast cancer, I was the healthiest person I knew. I had already been doing nutrition. I had already been doing nutrients, exercise. I did all the things that I thought I should do, and yet I still had genes expressed. And that put me on a journey of trying to understand, is there a possibility, is there an answer that we can have that can help with gene expression? Fast forward, that's what brought me to nutrigenomics. And what nutrigenomics is, basically, and, and I want this to be simple so that Arlene can tell this to everybody and everybody can tell this to everybody. It's the ability to use nutri nutrition, nutrients, and naturally occurring compounds and what they can do to have an effect that's positive on our genes. See, when I first started school, we were told that 98% of our gene expression was set and that we couldn't change it. But now, fast forward to where we are today, we now know that only 2% of our gene codes are set. And through lots of different things, you can see different gene expressions. Some are good and some are bad. So what we're talking about today is the ability through nutrition, nutrients, and specially naturally occurring compounds, utilizing the body to do the work itself. The body is now gonna take over its own activation again. That's when I got super excited. This is what I've been looking for my whole life. This was what I was seeking when I was in school, and it's what medicine has been looking for. The ability for our own body to turn on pathways that we don't even have the complete understanding of. And so fast forward, what ended up happening, when I was um, calling Arlene, it was because for three days in a row, I was thinking of her. I don't know why, her name kept coming into my head and I thought, I'm supposed supposed to call her. And I would urge every one of you, when you get that gut instinct, act on it. There's reasons for those impulses. Mm -hmm. And so I called her, and sure enough, Adrian was in a really bad place. Mm -hmm. I didn't know a lot about this product line at that time. I was researching it, but I knew two things. I knew enough about it that it had subtherapeutic doses of naturally occurring compounds put in a special ratio, <clears throat> and that ratio has the ability to turn back on a pathway in our body that does a lot of different things. But the most important thing is I knew it wasn't gonna hurt Adrian, and I also knew it was not gonna interfere with her current medication. My hope was that it was gonna help her body to start taking back control of itself again, and maybe, maybe through that, have her start to be able to get off the medication that was hurting her so badly. And that's where our journey began. And now, here we are, four years later, I think what's been the most amazing thing to me is A, my own personal health. I am now very healthy. My oncologist um, just pats me on the head all the time and says, I love it. I don't have people come in here like a breath of fresh air like you. Um, of course, you know what, he had to hear the information about it. And we always say we don't treat, mitigate, prevent, or cure, because we don't but what our bodies are capable of when we have proper gene expression again through nutrigenomics, utilizing proper things to make good gene expression, we're able to take back control of our genes and what that creates is healing. It's slower than, than a chemistry of a, a pill. When you take a prescription, what happens is that changes the chemistry in your body immediately. Well, while that can be a good thing if you want that particular pathway turned back on, the problem is all of us that have ever learned chemistry know that it's about balanced equations. That is not a balanced equation. That is now an equation going in one direction. And so what's gonna happen is eventually over time, as what happened with Adrian, the pathway going open all the time in one direction, 
started creating side effects coming in the other direction. And this is how so many people end up on so many medications. And it's why I became the backward pharmacist. Through my whole career, I spent all of my time trying to help people not to get on five, six, 10, 18 prescriptions. And how many people come to me all the time with their family members going, I don't even know what to do with my mom. Look at all these medications. And she's not better. So this is about helping people to understand the own body activating its own pathway, this NRF2 pathway. It has the ability to do many things. It's made a profound, profound effect on Adrian from her perspective. Um, and it was also through a couple of the other products in combination. We have mm -hmm. put together four things. I call them the four pillars of health because it doesn't matter if it's autism or if it's diabetes or what other things it is. Our body starts having gene expressions go the wrong way. We need that to be right. And that happens through having proper pillars of health. You want to be able to take out the trash from your cell. That's what the center of two activation does. It helps the cell start to remove its trash again, like when we were younger. Mm -hmm. And the second thing we need is we need to have mitochondrial health. Mitochondria gives the energy to the cell. And in many cases with autism, that's a very specific problem for them. Mitochondrial damage happens for lots of different reasons. It's very difficult to take care of. The third thing that we need to have is probiotic. And the probiotics that are available out there, quite frankly, 95% of them are not good enough. They're not effective enough, they're not helpful. In fact, some of them are harmful. And so we really needed to have a probiotic that could do the proper thing. And what I mean by that is that it actually helps you to have your own body producing its own biome, its own probiome that, uh, that can develop in the digestive tract. And the fourth thing is you gotta have omegas. Those are what help with communication and the protection of our cells. So those four combinations were the things that through nutrigenomics, we're now seeing Adrian's cells heal one by one and over time. What ended up resulting in that is that she started improving, so we were able to take her off in record time, a medication that was really hurting her. But what we didn't expect and what we didn't think we'd see mm -hmm. was what was her body continuing to heal. And as each one of those cells started healing, different things started happening for her. Mm -hmm. She had better communication skills. She had things that, that started happening that um, were just, quite frankly, between Arlene and I, just shocking. Yeah. We didn't think that we would ever see those things happen for her. Mm -hmm. And while I will tell people, this isn't the perfect answer, we're talking about tools here that are making significant impact. And there's so many supplements out there today, people don't know what to take. But supplementation is different than activation. We're talking about nutrigenomics activating our body, turning back on our proper genes. And when you have proper gene expression, the cells start operating better. It takes care of inflammation, it takes care of um, the cytoprotectiveness of the cells is gonna help those neurons and the mental processes heal. And it's also gonna stop fibrolytic formation that happens when you have too much inflammation. And that fibrolytic formation many times is where we see a lot of problems in terms of communication, not just in the brain, but also just in your muscles communicating. So you can see it in lots of different forms. And so truly, I think what I like to express is the ability for our own body to take back over that activation. And what we're seeing in the autism community through those four pillars and a product by the name of Axio that literally is brain food, also containing this NRF. <laughs> this is definitely work in motion. We are definitely not professionals at Facebook <laughs> Live, but we wanted to share this information with you. And I'd just like to, before we end, what I'd like to do is just have Arlene just talk just a couple of minutes about some of the things that Adrian's doing now, because that's what people really want to hear. They want to hear how this is really affecting people. Mm -hmm. They want to know that, is this real? Yes. We have all kinds of studies now, 27 peer-reviewed studies in something called PubMed.gov. That's real science. That's why I'm able to do this. I can wrap my head around 
Sorry about that. Um, and what I, what I want to say is that, um, and I apologize for that little interruption, but I want Arlene to just tell real quick a couple of stories about Adrian, and then we just want to say thank you for listening. All right? So Adrian, because she had uh, little to no language, um, what I did over the years was taught her to be independent. So helping herself to snacks and what have you, but one thing that Adrian's very dependent on is us being able to make a meal for her because she doesn't understand that. So she can get chips and popcorn and that kind of thing, but she's not gonna make a meal. Um, so that being said, we were having tacos one night for dinner and the next day I walk into the kitchen and there's this big mess across the breakfast bar. And of course, the first thing I do is start yelling at my son to clean up his mess. And he said, well, I didn't do that. And I said, well, right, okay, so, okay, who did that then? Well, Adrian did. And I said, what are you talking about? Well, she pulled all the, uh, leftovers out of the fridge and made her own taco. I said, you're kidding me. <laughs> like this is not, my daughter has never ever thought to do something like that. That is not something that she understands how to do. So this is the new thing she started doing is getting to the refrigerator and pulling out a piece of roast and dumping ketchup all over the plate. She didn't understand how to heat it up, but she knew that this had to go on the plate and this is what she was gonna do. So, uh, then the other thing that happened one day is, you know, I, she's very dependent with the bathing thing, so I have to help her with all of that. I went in the her restroom one day to check on her after she was having a shower, and I said, um, are you doing okay, Adrian? And she had already dried herself off, put her clothes on, and I, when I asked her, is everything okay, she said, of course it is. And I, I think I, my jaw dropped. She was like, of course it is, okay. <laughs> Never heard her say, she's never had communication skills like that, never. So this has been an ongoing adventure for us because we never know when she's gonna pop off with something out of her mouth. Some are not so polite, especially <laughs> when she's giving somebody heck in the grocery store. I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> we love spontaneity. But, but this is exciting for us because um, I think the Nerve 2 activation with the Nerve 2 Protanum has helped her heal her insides with her body, but the Nerve 1 Protanum, when we got her on that, that's healing the mitochondria, and that's huge damage with kids with autism, and I really truly believe that once we got her on that, that's where all this communication is coming from, and just, she just keeps discovering new ways to get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and you know we're delighted and not but I mean uh, I am excited because I all I wanted was for my daughter to be happy that's all most parents want you know they don't want a rocket scientist they just want their child to be happy and content and what we're seeing now with our daughter is I don't know what's gonna happen in a year two years five years I can't even tell anybody but it's it's exciting this is so exciting and we are I'm trying to reach out to the autism world and I am so thrilled and thankful to God that I have Nancy Bryan on my side because I don't know anybody else that could help me to this level that Nancy can but because of her education and her background and the passion she has to help people like I do. We are a great team together. So thank you so much for everything. And it must be time yeah. to go. The and dogs say there's tandem here. <laughs> company coming. So thank you so much for your time, and we'll look forward to hearing your comments. Bye.